I'm quiet. Thank you, Josh, for so graciously queuing us in. Yeah, no problem. I'll do it anytime. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, because, uh, fuck you, Chris, um, we, we, we ha- technically have two sessions to read. Mm-hmm. So, who did it last time? I think I did. Because we had an entire yeah. thing where I tried to lie. You tried to get me to read it, because <laughs> yeah. I had read it the week prior. Yeah, so <laughs> it's, uh, it's Chris's turn this time. Well, okay, well, Chris gets one of them. I read it before that one. Or no, that doesn't matter. And then it's got to be between you two on who reads the other one. And it's like, no. <laughs> Tyler goes for the rock, paper, scissors, and <laughs> Edison's just not having any of it. I, 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 my, my finger has not left my nose since the first nose goes. Yeah, I think, uh, Tyler, you get the second one. Well, you guys got to pick who gets the long one and who gets the short oh, one. I mean, the they're both. One. That's what the rock paper scissors is for. Yeah, yeah, that's rock paper scissors. Let's see it. Okay. Rock paper scissors shoot. Rock paper scissors shoot. Rock paper scissors shoot. Damn. Okay, <laughs> Tyler wins. So. All right, Chris Tyler, you get one. the first one. Uh, Chris, you get the session uh, in the caves. Why are we reading that one? We went there for that. Yeah, well, it's it's it won't be read otherwise. So. No, that. That's for the other group to read if they ever have another Plot B is still a part of the plot. Yeah. Chris, my dude. (laughs) Episode... Oh. (laughs) Go, go, go. Never mind. Now make it fast. Make it fast. You committed to the (laughs) bin. I was gonna say, you know what dramatic irony is? (laughs) I now, never heard of it. After it definitely hasn't been three weeks. And I absolutely <laughs> still remember what voice I used for Elric. Oh yeah. It was a voice. I had one. Uh-huh. I believe it. Episode 53. The Odd Traveler. And I will reinvent the voice. I'm sorry. That's wrong. Do it again. No, please say that title again. Odd An Odd Traveler. Thank you. Rickard, Stonk, and Selene continue northward. After burning the body of Mikkel after his death, the party continues northward and finds a cabin in the woods. It appears to have been abandoned recently, with a party nursing blood splattered on the cabin door and a fire pit with an, with an arm in it. Good sign. Uh, inside, an iron cauldron sits on the table with hot water. After finding a book, the party figures out that it's used for room casting. Crafting. Shh. I, I said what I said. Continuing northward, the party meets a tea-drinking young man named Elric. How nice. Oh, Heading to Ingvald's tournament. During a watch, Slane confronts Elric, saying he's not replaceable. Elric gets concerned. <laughs> <laughs> Rickard stumbles upon a man, injured and hiding in the bush, and he ignores the man. <laughs> An ire is fired at Rickard from the hillside, and Elric channels his man to kill the hunter running away. You've committed the first murder of the campaign. How does it make you feel? What? I was no, trying- no, no, not the first one, but the first one for your character. Oh. I was trying to lightly wound him. I figured he had more HP than a second level slot. Wow. I would cast Second God- level magic missile, like, first level magic missile will kill anybody. Second level is... If you're on this mountain and you can't take a magic missile, why the fuck are you on this mountain? <laughs> yeah. No, he has a point. He has a point. <laughs> Uh, oh, I, we're back to slow to concern about Sulne, murdering a man. Uh, <coughs> you okay, Josh? There's a lot of noises happening at this table. <laughs> it's spreading. <laughs> God. Water went down the wrong table. The hunter looks to be a Goliath at first, but upon further inspection, the man's lavender skin and white hair leaves his race ambiguous, even though now we all know what that means. Mm-hmm. After Rickard uses comprehend languages in his journal, he was revealed the name Duran and hunting the injured traveler in the valley. Uh, Elric and Slaneka over the man in the bushes, who thanks him for coming back. The wounded man introduced himself as Odd, a traveling illusionist. He asked the party to escort him to his friend Kiva's tower. He is also a worshipper of Lelon Mace. During the night, Odd and Slane talk about their travels and experiences and pine over the lack of alcohol. He shows Slane the object he wishes to show to Kiva. She, she knows Sorry, almost... Sorry, what, what did he do? To Kiva. Claiming. What'd I say? 
something else, my dude. <laughs> Listen, words are hard. <laughs> Claiming she knows almost everything. Elric and Snakes, I guess they're watching up. Richard... So, hurry, Elric and who? Words are hard. <laughs> you, you're almost there, oh buddy. You Elric this is and the easy one. discuss on their it watch that Rickard serves a Baylor. Elric, confused, asked him to elaborate, say that he is a Baylor. As in, his name is Alric Alricson Baylor the Eleventh. <laughs> I'm sorry, there's no the in there. It's just Alric it's Alricson the- Baylor the Eleventh. No, Eleventh. Eleventh. Mm-hmm. Damn. Okay, now it's your turn to mispronounce everything. Oh, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Kelly helped me write this. <laughs> Episode 34, Serpent's Caves. The trio finds themselves in caves fabled to have been carved by the world serpent. Tibor, uh, Tibor, crushed by rubble and stabilized by Tavi moments before his death, Turil examines the injury and heals him, leaving him healed with, uh, but with a broken shoulder. Tavi, the only one with dark vision, leads the way for what feels like days in the caves. There are no signs of life within the caves. A crack in the wall reveals itself to be a the entryway to a room dedicated to wall carvings of Jormungandr, the world serpent, and nemesis of the Jotun. Uh, the party finds a dead drow crushed beneath a boulder with dark staining around his mouth. A bowl with a snake's head hooking its fangs over the bowl stands at the end of the room. Tavi notices a single droplet of what he believes to be the world serpent's poison on the fang. He rips some cloth from the, cloth from the drow's body and uses it to soak up the droplet. They agree to keep the fabric in Turil's coin purse. They depart from that the cavern argument. <laughs> and continue forward. I had to chip in. Mm-hmm. Uh, wait, I just lost my place because I had to scroll up a bit. The party mm-hmm. notices. The party... Yeah. The party notices massive smears of blood along the rock tunnels days later and decides the world serpent may be injured. Soon they find a more natural cave and encounter a horde of Durgar. Of Draugr. Whoops. Mm-hmm. Uh, Turil transforms into a polar bear to fight, and Tavi fights alongside her. Tabor casts Suggestion on a skeleton to, chicken, to turn against the other undead and succeeds. It chases away the remaining two skeletons. The party begins to hear a man chanting in Druidic. They see a druid spectated by ravens casting a spell. On the dead tree in the middle of a natural pool, Tavi realizes that the man is Andor the Reviled, attempting to cast True Resurrection. Mm. Then you feel free to do the poem if you want. You want. No backing down. The trio tries to hide from the arch tree. Power. (laughs) Ah. On a hillside drear, the fir tree dies, having neither needles nor bark. It is like a man whom no one loves. Why should his life be long? The trio tries to hide from the archdruid, and Tavi kicks loose a stone into the water. Andrew sees them and sends his ravens at them, who are chanting... Go on. You want me to say it? Astrake or... Astrake. Gesundheit. Um, (laughs) Tavi's eyes go dark as he casts darkness to trap Andor inside. Tabor tries to put Andor to sleep unsuccessfully. He starts to run back into the dark of the cavern to hide. Tavi and Turil land a few a few hits on the swarms of rave, on the swarm of ravens and run, trying to locate Tabor in the darkness. Tabor motivates Tavi and Turil to run, temporary, uh, granting them temporary HP. The ravens hear a shout and close in on Tabor. Tavi runs to Tabor and Missy steps to shove Tabor out of the way of the raven swarm. Tavi gets attacked by the ravens, but lifts his head to cast Hell's Rebuke, slaying the swarm. Turil, hearing the yell, rushes over and takes out the remaining swarm. After Tavi drops his concentration on darkness, Tavi sees the strange purple orb in Andor's hand. It is the uh, giant eye of a snake. The party flees away from Andor. That session was great. Shame some of you missed it. (laughs) Yeah. Fuck you, I had work. Yeah. 
I mean, I, I showed up for the end, and... You uh, showed up for the part that mattered and then went to the bathroom yeah, during, like, the, the main most reveal. Most important part. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Alrighty. Alright. And now I'm burdened with knowledge that I should not have. Yeah. Josh can cry. You know, we learned that Josh made a big fuck up, like, 20 sessions ago. Oh? I don't remember what it was, but I remember it's a thing. His fuck-up was getting cursed, TM. Yeah. Really? That's coming back to bite you in the ass? Or the eye. Yeah. Wow! Who thought the cursed eye was What's cursed? cursed? That's not the problem. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, alright. So, um, at this time, we ended the last session with um, Elric and Stonk having that conversation about the Baylor. Yep. Um, we decided to stop there. If that is some a moment you wish to continue right now, you, you are more than welcome to, or you can save it for later. As we freeze frame in time, I was just looking at you confused. Yeah. I don't really have much else to say about it, just, you know... Yeah. He serves a Baylor. Alright, well I'm gonna I'm gonna spend the rest of the watch being confused. Okay. Sounds good. We're racking my nine intelligence for what the fuck does that mean? My nine intelligence, it just doesn't make sense. How can there be more than one Baylor? How can there be more than one person with my name? Elric Elric. <laughs> to be fair, I Baylor. know my I know my family. I don't. I know. I have a cannon for everybody. <laughs> Go for it. Have at any of these that you want. These nuts. Ah. Got it. Okay. All right. So we finish our watch then. All right. Watch is uh, finished. Right. Um, you all uh, wake up and most likely continue on your uh, journey through the valley and beginning at this point to crawl up the mountainside. Um, uh, do you guys want to just keep going, or do you have anything you want to roleplay before we get into the um, mountains? How steep's the mountain looking? Um, it, it's getting there now. You're, you're getting to the point where it is no longer resembling a forest and beginning to resemble, you know, an actual mountainside. Every time we wake up, so we don't, I don't have to say this every time, I make my gross tea, and if you want normal tea, I probably have, like, I don't know, Weeks worth of pine tea. I don't know how much you can carry of that. So, yeah. It's good to know. Um, I will not be partaking in your gross tea or your regular tea. Just assume I'm making that every time we take a long rest. Mm -hmm. I will and picture you that. Just assume that I'm not going to have any of that tea. All right. Because when you wake up, yesterday I was like composedly vibe checking you now I'm just unabashedly vibe checking you there's a difference just staring at you from across the room <laughs> eyes narrowed who the fuck are you I don't recognize you I don't you. I'm not even gonna look at what it was it was a 1% it doesn't matter <laughs> he's feeling good 1% or 100% no 1% you're on one of those good days man my, my withdrawals are over it's done fuck yeah I'm cured I'm cured <laughs> Oh. Out, out of curiosity, what did you feel for a split second? A little bit of nausea. You woke up in the you, morning you and were burped. like, Bull. and then you were good. Yeah. All right. That's it. All right. Um, what's Odd doing? Um, Odd, for the most part, is probably just either telling stories or just kind of minding his own business on the on the journey. He's not. He's like right on the verge of unbearably annoying, but like. Not not so much that you like want to kill him or Marvel Quippy. Yeah, he's Marvel Quippy. That's what he is. <laughs> Weird aunt in a family gathering. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Like you can't tell her to leave, but everyone kind of wants her to leave. <laughs> She's just annoying. Not enough to be angry about. Just annoying. It's annoying how she's not quite annoying enough to be annoyed. Yeah, that makes it worse somehow. She means well, but it's like. <laughs> Man, can you just stop talking for a second? Holy this is the fuck. third time you talked about, about you. your chihuahua. Please stop. 
It's an ugly little rat. No one likes it. That was it. a I'm funny sorry. anecdote for a solid two seconds. We've been talking for five minutes. Stop. Yeah, at least babies don't <laughs> shit on the floor. Chihuahuas do. Yeah. Yeah, chihuahuas squirts. Uh, all right. We t well, we're, we're at the top of the mountain. About, uh, chihuahua skirts. Uh, squirts. <laughs> see, see, words are hard. Uh, yeah, I've been screwing up words all day. So. I think we're all in that boat of words are hard. Um, let's continue up the mountain. Right. Unless anyone if we don't describe it, about. that means we're T-posing and just clipping up the mountain. Yes. We don't have to make checks. Yes. All right. That's how that works, right, Lord? We're going to do yeah. this uh, Minecraft or, or sorry, uh, Skyrim first. Fucking hell, I am really screwed just up. Just press the space bar rapidly. Press the space bar rapidly and just glide up the mountain. <laughs> uh, That's the best the way to climb. climb. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why don't we do it that way? We could do it the Elden Ring way. Oh, oh god. god. The Pegasus climb. The Pegasus climb. <laughs> Or we can do it the, the Elden Ring way by just, you know, slightly clipping off a rock and just fucking die. <laughs> the, the Elden Ring way of holding the weapon R button and just launching across the fucking map. Yeah, the speed running tactic. <laughs> Alright, so uh, we overshot it, we're now... So we've done our video game shenanigans, we're there. Okay, we've done the video game shenanigans. The days have passed and a, your slow climb through the valley uh, and up the mountain size has revealed a gradual change in your environment. No longer are you surrounded by the trees of the Avnordian Empire, as they now grow sparsely at this altitude. With nothing to shield you from the wind of the valley, you struggle northward uh, up the narrow mountain paths of Ingvald Mountain. Um, at this time, let's make a uh, quick survival check on whoever is leading the way. Well, that would probably be me. Anyone yeah. want to give me advantage? Uh, guidance, my child. Guidance? <laughs> oh, what's your survival? Plus two. What are you gonna be leading? Yeah, I'll, I'll walk next to you. Sonny uh, just has a four. feeling. Sure, you can go and then get guidance. Ooh. I originally was gonna have you guys do survival checks, and there was gonna be a chance you'd climb the wrong mountain. Oh my god. But I decided against Thank that. god I'm a halfling. <laughs> Thank god you're a halfling. For a three and a nat one for the initial rolls. Yikes. That's another fucking three. How do you manage? Um, uh, you know, that's, that's a 11. ten. All right. That's a lot. With a d4? Four? Well, you're right, it is eleven. That made all the difference. We're saved. Yeah. Um. Yeah, you, yeah. It's, you, Slane is trying his best, but Stonk, even you know that this doesn't... It's like, you you know mountains. You know rocks. I know rocks. You're like, this motherfucker it's, is picking, like, the worst climbing spots. <laughs> it's not a boulder. <laughs> it's, it's a rock. Listen, if it's going straight it's up, small rock if it's going straight up and crack, like, that means you won't trip, like, the, the smoother path. Yeah, yeah. The narrow path is yeah. the faster one. <laughs> that's, that's the one we want, right? No. No. No? All right, so this um, is not great. Why this, I that's not a boulder. It's a rock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would have done better Oof. just with what I rolled without guidance or anything else. Well, Ouch. shame that didn't even happen. Yeah. All right, moving on. Um, at this time, I'll say the, the there are no trees to really protect you from the wind at this point. And oh my god, do they call these pla- this place the Wind Cliffs for nothing? Like, it's windy. It's windy. It's fucking windy. It's fucking my windy. windy. <laughs> um, there are there are times where it's like a little more moderate, but there are times where the gusts become so powerful that you have to find shelter and you got to stop for a couple minutes until it passes. But at this time, now would be the appropriate time to. Uh, find a uh, place to rest for the evening. We do okay. that. Alright, we do yeah, that. We do that. Um, I'll try and find a place that is uh, protected from the wind. What, what does, is this one? Does Slaney try to help is and then stop, immediately stop that? For what? Yes, I uh, for a place refuse no, Slaney's help check. in this one. Survival check to find good shelter. I'll try and help you. Gu- guidance. You're guided. Okay. I've, I've, gi- I've guided you. Thank you. Okay, so that's a uh, twenty-four. <laughs> <laughs> you find a uh, a large. Um, you think got the help action? Because that's uh, 
the scary one right there. You find a large rock kind of uh, wedged up against the side of the cliffside, and you're able to find like a small little shelter from the wind. Mm -hmm. This will keep us out of the winter. Odd rubs his hands together and um, begins like kind of saying, "Oh well, only maybe one, one more day, and then we'll be there." At least where I need to be. It's going to be multiple days for uh, maybe weeks, perhaps months, maybe years if you get lost. Thank you, Odd. Thank you. I'm thinking about this. Did we grab firewood as we climb a mountain past where the tree range is? I'm assuming you probably did. You you guys aren't stupid. Yeah, okay. Double checking. That's, well, a, that's a big assumption. That, that was a whole scene in Lord of the Rings about did you grab the goddamn firewood? So I'm like, did we do that? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you want to yell about it? You can yell at each other about firewood. That sounds fun. I'm good. Uh, create bonfire. <laughs> you can't. Bad. Gandalf had a whole cut. You can't cast that on snow. <laughs> hey, hey, I, 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 I mean, he can actually, but that doesn't yeah. stay. Hmm. That's a solid six seconds of fire snow. Yeah. It's actually up to a minute. Yeah. Good but also, you. it's right. like on the fire snow, it's like it's not going to catch any fire. I have to keep on casting it. Then that's just like. He's just burning up all the oxygen in the shelter. Cozy. <laughs> Alright. Well, you don't need to think about being cold if you uh, don't, don't have any oxygen, right? <laughs> Thank you, Ed. Thank you, Ed. <laughs> <laughs> this is going great. I just immediately thought of uh, Kelly's video that she posted and tagged you with Edison Ford. <laughs> <laughs> and just the screaming. <laughs> she wasn't wrong. Yeah, she was not wrong. wrong at all. And I can't wait for Kelly to listen to this and know yeah. that we have been thinking about that thing. <laughs> okay. Um, who's going to be watching with who? Um. You haven't had the opportunity to, to, to talk to Odd yet. He's talked to everybody except for you and Elric, I think. Well, I think Elric wants to talk with someone else, so I'll, I guess I've got Odd. Elric, you can go through right now. <laughs> and Slimei will stuck. just be Slimei. Yay. Yeah. Who goes first? <laughs> Fine. I can go. Uh, you want to go first? Yeah, it's I have, gonna be just you, and it'll go quick. I have nothing going on. That's why I don't care. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, it, it's uh, nineteen. You're good. The fire is fine. All right. Who's Please. next? Me and Odd. Okay. He sits on the near near the fire, kind of plops down. He like. Looks at you anxiously and waits for you to talk if you try and initiate a conversation. <laughs> Do you uh, first? Let's figure out if the fire stays lit. That's a good. That's a good. Good. Good idea. Let's all start. Uh, Rick could use more exhaustion. Double fours. Ooh, six. <laughs> all right. Uh, so, uh, by the way, I looked it up because I, I've, I've mentioned that it did get it wrong. You only get the exhaustion if you fail it by five points or more okay. in, the, in the con save. Otherwise, you just don't get a long rest. Okay. Which, Which isn't the end of the world this great. time. So just don't... So, yeah. what's, uh, what do we need to not roll under? So, DC if 10. you roll a 10 or lower, you get the exhaustion. Okay. If you roll a 15 or lower, you don't get a long rest. I rolled a 12. That's a... Yeah, that, I, did, I rolled 15 plus stuff, so I'm good. Okay. 19. Hey. 19, you're good. I'm you're a good. sorcerer. I so I don't... I, I didn't get a long rest, like, but it's all the five. I have That's proficiency. <laughs> oh, I don't. <laughs> what did you get total? 12. Oh. Uh, I rolled a 10 and was so scared for a second. Rest. But I, I don't care about my long rest right now, so... Not very necessary. Odd is um, shivery. <laughs> Odd sad. <laughs> Do you even notice the fire? When... Stonk doesn't know that the fire goes out because he doesn't... It doesn't matter to Stonk. Yeah. The laps like, are fucking man. OP here. And I was just too anxious to say, hey, the fire's out for, like, way too long. Stonk, like, Stonk is, like, thinking, mm, it's getting kind of windy outside, do I put a shirt on? <laughs> <laughs> so imagine Stonk in, like, a comically large Christmas sweater. 
I need fan art now. <laughs> Stack. Um, Kelly, you know what to do. Is it one of those shitty ones where it's like the cat hanging on there? So it's hanging in there, but it's hanging from the Christmas tree? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> um, I guess I have to start a conversation. Uh, what do you want to say to this freezing man? What do you want to say to this freak? Not freezing man. Freak. Freezing freak. So what were you doing on the mountain? Hmm? Oh, I have something that I you know, stumbled upon that I believe my friend Kida can help me identify. So I made the courageous decision to walk all the way here alone. Where were you from? Originally? <laughs> Not sure. But I've been everywhere, and I'd consider my home uh, a little bit of the halfling empire, a little bit of the human. I'm like half and half. And you, you look at him, he's totally human. He's, he's just short. <laughs> <laughs> Stark just has like a very questioning look on his face. Like, really? His face is just ellipses. <laughs> yeah. He's like, oh, okay. But spent most of my life traveling, so I don't really have a exact hope. And what's so important that you're willing to almost get killed by that hunter? Well, <clears throat> because sometimes things are that important. Elaborate. I, I've known Kida since, since she was a child. Hopefully, she remembers good things about me. But hey, once we meet her, she might have answers. For all I know, the thing I found isn't even—it's not—it's not that big of a deal, you know. But it could be a a big deal, and I don't want to be responsible for what happens if I just ignore it. What did you find? Persuasion check. Can I do intimidation? <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Damn, this is two very different conversations that Odd has had with two different party members. Yeah. Did you just ask him nicely? He's like, yeah, here, sure. I didn't have to roll a persuasion. <laughs> he was just like, hey, look at my thing. Eh, unfortunate. Twelve. Okay. Is, he, is he brave? He... He, like... His brow furrows a little bit. She goes, Does it make you feel good? Knowing that you can scare me? <laughs> <laughs> How utterly disarming. <laughs> Your spooky song. <laughs> I like to think this is in character. <laughs> Fuck. Um, Josh How and Stomp both are blue screening. <laughs> no one's called me out my shit before. <laughs> yeah, I like it odd. <laughs> well, I'm glad to know that I am scared. That was my intention. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> I was just winning this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen Stuck and Stronger. By <laughs> He's getting stronger by a five, a five foot like. Well, what is he? Five foot, maybe like Twink. late fifties, early sixties. Are you so you just Walk. intimidating slaying so you're going eh? <laughs> Slane folds like a house of cards. Yeah. <laughs> you're a soggy house of cards. Yeah. That's a sound. <laughs> that was a terrible sound. That is not what a soggy house of cards sounds. How do you, so? So how do you respond? Is Stonk just processing? Uh, Blue screening? I, I did respond, um, but what did you, what did you say after I responded? Good job. 
Alright. What the hell did Odd roll? <laughs> Odd roll a <Seven>. nat chunk. <laughs> <laughs> I simply want to know why you are risking your life to find out what this thing is. Why are you risking your life to climb this mountain? Because I'm going to kill him bald. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was so nonchalant. Um, can you say that again? Because I'm going to kill Engvald. <laughs> now, what's so important <laughs> find out what that thing is. This is his turn to blue screen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're going to try and kill Ingwald? Try. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> um, I'll show it to you. But you gotta promise me. Hey, who the fuck are you gonna tell and he goes into <laughs> <laughs> and he goes and he pulls uh, fro out of uh, his pocket. Let me pull out the a stark Funko Pop. Funko Pop. Does he have a very familiar a full, stunk funk have pop. a very familiar vial of poison? Does no, he, no. Does he have like uh, just like a single square of a familiar stone floor on him? <laughs> <laughs> um, he just he... has like an action figure. He wants to know if it's sellable or not. Yo, he found an iPhone for us. He pulls out a small um, silver ring from his pocket that as he, like, holds up at you, um, you notice has a giant kind of written around the man. It's not written as in, it doesn't say anything, but there are lots of runes that um, I guess would infer that this is a wedding ring on the outside. And he... Very slowly puts it in your hand. I take a look at it. Um, should I roll an investigation or something? Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, um, me. You know me. Great investigation checks. Picks up odd the throws it off the cliff. <laughs> <laughs> what sort of sorcery is this? Ah, another four. <laughs> That's the third one in a row. Uh, with my modifiers... Four. <laughs> boring, boring ring. What's special about this? It's an iPod Nano Mini. Goddamn. Uh, but the characters themselves in Giant don't mean anything that I can tell. No, no. It's just, I'll say the runes you probably see are probably some Gabo, which means like gift, Ride Ho, which is journey. Um, you see Thurisaz, which stands for male sexuality. <laughs> wow. It's literally big PP energy. That's what the Fury Sauce ring is. Journey cock through the ring. big penis. Yeah. Yeah, this is a really small cock ring. <laughs> Perfect for Slane. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, brutal. <laughs> you don't notice anything about it. Seems like a normal ring. Look on the inside of the bend. Oh that. shit! Shit. There's writing on the inside of the band that oh you God. don't recognize. I don't recognize the language? No. You can you can roll a history check if you want to try. Sure, why not? I have a plus zero to that roll one as well. Five. Five? <laughs> why does this matter? This is stupid. Scribbles. I don't really understand it, to be honest. Oh, okay. Well. I believe... Written on the inside of that marriage uh, marriage band is um Elvish. Where did you get this again? Uh, I'm showing you why, but I won't explain how I got that quite yet. I have it, and I'm doing what I should with it. How I found it doesn't matter. Grave Robin, Grave Robin. Again? Yes, absolutely. Was it the same grave? Did he. Is everyone robbing that fucking grave? Is there a neon saying, say, rob here? Yeah. 
Elven artifacts only mm-hmm. here. It's uh, nothing uh, personal. It's just how I stumbled upon it is a little bit of a private story. Great. Yeah. Um, Stomp just kind of shrugs, hands it back to him. Doesn't seem very important. Mm. Okay. And he puts it in his his pocket. Now, you tell me. Why do you want to kill Ingvald? He mm-hmm. says and he puts in air quotes. Oh, and what point is that? Is it that you're big and scary? <laughs> I don't need to explain myself to you. You'll be gone tomorrow. That's exactly why you shouldn't explain it to me. I, I just showed you that ring because it doesn't really matter. Why? It doesn't really matter to me, so why should I explain anything valuable to you? <sighs> Friends are a good thing. Allies are. <laughs> Stunk's met his match. Odd. <laughs> I don't believe we'll see each other again, Odd. Neither do I! No point in being friends, then. <sighs> but shouldn't the time we spend with each other be good, joyful to some extent? Makes your travels easier if you actually, uh, bother to socialize with your companions. Hmm. Yeah. Um. No, I don't wanna. <laughs> no, I don't wanna. <laughs> I thought about making connections with the rest of the party again, but now, fuck no, you. I don't wanna. You're asking me to do something. Emotional intimacy? Nah. Nah. Um. Mm. Small penis. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, I just tore ass. Nicely <laughs> <laughs> done, Odd. Thank you. I believe it. <laughs> He Can would, he? and he could. <laughs> Does he know how to ride a motorcycle? No, but he would do it flawlessly. Mm-hmm. While being scared out of his goddamn mind. Personally, I don't need a lecture from you, Odd, on companionship. Oh, okay. That was easy. I don't have anything else to say. All right. So if he wants to say anything, he can, but... He just starts rat battling with just a, a random wildlife that wanders into our <laughs> shelter. <laughs> All right. Who's next? These two. Yep. I'm going to start preparing to, like... To do, like, the step-by-step presentation. You get, like, handling and you these to that. And then you slowly move to the fire because you can't jump. To big fires with a king, and he just hates bonfire. I'm like, yo, okay. That's a really nice kid trip. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's convenient, right? In now. the summer, it, I mean, in the winter, yeah. I'm shocked at how much mileage I've gotten out of it. <laughs> Did you pass your check, Rickard, or are you all exhausted? Oh, I, I passed my check. I got 15 plus stuff. Oh, so you're, you're, it's only you, and maybe, maybe odd. Well, I'm not exhausted. You just didn't sleep. No, I said you're if just, it was. You're just under, sleepy. Yeah, yeah that's fine. It's not the first time. If you fail by five or more, which is ten or less. To be fair, we were failing like shit before. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I'm still silently, but now I'm. Now there wasn't any judgment in the vibe checks before. There's not really judgment in this vibe check, but there's intention that wasn't there before. Do I? Should Should I roll insight to see like if I notice how how much how much this guy is just like. Vibe checking me. 
I mean, he's probably trying to hide it, but I don't think he's doing a very good job. I guess you can roll if you want. Not good. <laughs> oh, that's a 9 plus 1. So that's a 10. 10 insight. Probably notice some. You know, something's general. different. Guard is still up, not really uh, trying to initiate a conversation with uh, the stranger in the party that can clearly fight more than the old man that is, frankly, a little insane. <laughs> See, I get the old guy. He's just old. He, he's just old. <laughs> a weirdo. Don't a bit on right. shit. I think we'll probably start through, like, the first, like... 60% of our watch. And every now and then you see me open my mouth like I'm going to say something to you and close my mouth. And then I think he just sort of burst out at one point. Like, you can tell he didn't actually mean to say this that loud. And he says, So what's your connection to the Baylor? And I he was like, Wait, wait. Oh, fuck. I said that out loud, didn't I? Rickard is more than taken aback. <laughs> we're, we're all taken aback. The baby. And the, the, the. He said it with, like, air quotes. Like, the, the, the is unnatural to him. Baylor sounds smooth. The? What the fuck is the? How do you know about the Baylor? I don't know about the Baylor, but of course I know Baylor. And he sort of just gestures to himself. <laughs> Come on, Rick, you're the old there, Are there <laughs> other Baylors? Are there other Baylors? I am I am Elric of House Baylor. <laughs> so where does that uh, that name come from? What's the the root of House Baylor? I'm interested now. With did the name start with you know who, or was it way older than that? I mean, there were probably. I mean, you guys were nobodies before him. You were like traders and fishers. We have been a family for essentially centuries, maybe a thousand years or more. And you can. I guess I can roll a deception check because I'm keeping shit from you. Nat one. I'm hiding shit. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. If you also get a nat one. <laughs> I'm not lying. <laughs> yeah, it's a four plus one. It's a five. <laughs> wait, I am a charisma caster. Let's see what my deception score is. I have to beat a five for the nat one. You might, you five. Five. <laughs> <laughs> you just barely beats it, beats yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not telling you everything. That still doesn't answer my question. Do you know why House Baylor is called House Baylor? Do I know why? And it's that's not the same thing I as mean, what him. It's the it's kind of the opposite. Yeah, I'm like, do I know where we got the name verse from? It was a name. Yeah, I'm like, I'm just looking at it like, why is that the question you're asking? What's that supposed to mean? Well, clearly, there the is... First, the Baylor or the Baylors. And the answer is, yes. There's clearly a disconnect here. 
All I know is that the, the, the tall one said you gain your power from Val Baylor. What does that even mean? First off, I need to have a conversation with the <laughs> Second yeah. off, the Baylor is the penny in for a pound. In for a pounding. The Baylor is essentially a demon. Of the five deceptions, he's like, oh shit, oh, oh, oh no, don't, don't be what I think you're being. That I made a deal with. God, oh fuck, oh god, oh fuck, oh god, oh fuck. You contacted Isaac? Oh no, he has me. Isaac? It was I saw it. That'd be funny because the eye thing is. I saw it. You contacted East Sock? East Sock, West Sock. East Sock. That's right. I've only ever known it as the Baylor. Yeah, I wrote my East Sock titles. Literally any other thing it could be that I could pretend it is. No. <laughs> I mean, you're. Whole... That's the story that's been so like etched into you since you were a child. Why, why would you contact Isaac? Did you say my Isaac? The why? Why would you contact Isaac? I... Well, I thought you said why did you contact I, my, my brain, Isaac? My brain was about to say I, and it was like, uh, wait, no, it's. E. Okay. Mm-hmm. I just wanted to make, be clear Words that be you hard. are not saying Yeah, it's my I-S-A-K. He suck. If I mean that, I haven't said it yet. <laughs> See, now I'm curious. What do you know about Isak? You would get, so far... How he's saying it is the exact same time he was like, "Why did you come to contact the boogeyman?" <laughs> oh, <laughs> why did you talk to Satan? Oh, well, you, you can never go into heaven. I get my power from the thing from it. And I'm like, <laughs> what? What the fuck are you on? <laughs> um. So that that's what you've got so far. Did you, were you about to ask something? or? Yeah, I, I asked... Uh, I forgot what I asked. <laughs> uh, simply. Initially out of curiosity. And then we made a deal. He's been good on his part of the deal. And I intend to make good on mine. I did not know he was still... Alive? Eh. What do I know about I demon know. lifespans? Uh, Should he still be a thing? People don't really know enough shit about demons. You you might just be in the whole, oh, they live forever type deal. Oh shit, they live forever. Oh god, oh fuck. I figured, I figured he was a long dead old pile of dust somewhere. I just demon didn't think that doing anything. Steal what you make with a baby stealer. A baby stealer. Baby stealer. <laughs> We're getting all sorts of interesting terms. Clearly, you know more about Isak than I do. Well, you should. My family. The reason you probably have not heard of us is because we were banished. Because of him. A thousand years ago. Shenanigans have ensued since. Uh (laughs) Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You have no fucking idea. Elaborate on baby stealer. (laughs) That is how he became a demon. They say... Long ago, 
My forefather. <laughs> my fourth father. The him. Him. <laughs> it's like ew, ew, I'm related to that. Ew, ew, ew. <laughs> um fell in love with a woman. He puts it there. Who turned out to be a demoness. And um, Isaac was already married. And my my descended his wife, she had a child who did not pass who passed into this life and not alive, who did not make it through childbirth. And he took the baby and he ran off and we never saw him again. And we assumed he was doing evil things, and that is why we were banished, but I assumed he died, as men do, a thousand years ago. I assure you, he is very much alive. Uh, If it means anything to you, he is currently blind. Missing his eye. Immortality causes blindness. Check. <laughs> um, Learn all sorts of things. Last we've seen his eye and or had it. <laughs> now you gotta explain to him. Do <laughs> I know what the fuck and or is? Yeah. No. <laughs> uh, uh, and uh, and or? I don't think you need to know the specifics. It's, I don't think it's really that. <laughs> An insight, insight, insight. Is that druid important? 19 plus that. Yes, but not anymore. Okay. Uh, then we'll this, never see him again. <laughs> this arch druid he, he's by the name of Andor him. took right, his eye. Mm-hmm. And currently the Baylor is... Isaac, Isaac. You say that mockingly, like the Baylor, I mean, Isaac, whatever you call him. Jim. <laughs> Jim. He Jim has a, he has a normal name. Ugh. Is trapped and blind. That is good, I guess. What the fuck? Did he always only have one eye? Does the story say anything about his eyes? Mm-hmm. What, what was the eye bit? He lost his eye in an accident. Everyone called him one-eyed as a joke. Oh. <laughs> do I know what the accident is? Can I, can I, do I know the meme explanation? <laughs> what? You can make up a meme Don't explanation. spaghetti real fast. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is part of the story. He was going fishing. We lived in the north. We were fishermen once. And he was surprised by an arctic fox who just bumped him and he fell over onto his own pocket knife. (laughs) (laughs) He was was cutting fish. (laughs) Somehow this explanation is funnier than the spaghetti. (laughs) He was getting a fish and our our fox was going to go grab the the fish and he was like, wait. (laughs) Yeah. Of course. He had his knife when he was holding the fish's tail, and he like, give it back, give it back, and it lets go, and he just, punk. Oh, yeah. My eye. That's my story for how he lost his eye. There are many rumors. Somehow I expected something more dignified, like he, <laughs> he was always had Dignity only... from a demon? I expected something other than accidentally gouging our own eye out because we were startled. He was a kid. Also, I did say this was a thousand years ago, so if this story <laughs> has survived this long, either that was the most important event of his life, or there's been some bullshit <laughs> legend lore going on here. There's been some sl- uh, slander going on. <laughs> that Arctic fox is a hero. Mm-hmm. deal did you make with him? Essentially, then 
the time comes, should he require my assistance, I would provide it. And in exchange, I gesture over to the bonfire. You know there's magic where you don't have to tie yourself to a demon, yeah? Yes. You just have to read books. Are you sure? In this economy? <laughs> there's a Baylor magic that... Yeah, it's not. There's Baylor magic that does not need demon. Too late. I guess we spend the rest of the watch looking musically at each other. It's like, what does this make us? Yeah, this this is weird. <laughs> Are we my patrons? Great, 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 I'm like, you oh, he knows the name. He's like, great grandpa used to shit his to pants. Work. I'm like, I work for grandpa. What's that mean? <laughs> well, this yeah. is fascinating. I'm so glad I opened this up for you guys to talk. <sighs> Once again, Stonk has no idea. No fucking I mean, you did tell me, so you, you could figure out. Maybe he'll ask him about it. Maybe some. Uh, I assume you're going to talk to me about that later. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, that's later. Are we going to have a stock and slaying style scene where, like, don't tell secrets without talking to me first, and then you say, uh huh, and then you don't listen to it? Uh huh. <laughs> Again, but this time it's stock and record. Uh huh. Why does everyone keep lying to me? <laughs> <laughs> when have I lied? Name once. Just now. Okay, you got me. <laughs> Alright, we time skip to morning. Yep. Alright. That was last watch, so. Okay. Uh, Elric is making the shitty tea. Uh huh. No one wants it. You get oh. shitty tea this time. I'll take some shitty tea. It, Damn. It tastes like pine needles, which I think is a tea people drink, so it probably doesn't taste that bad. I notice, and I go, "Oh man, they talked." Oh god, a wink. Okay. Matchmaker. Are you uh, <laughs> going to talk on the walk, or should we? Keep it moving. Uh, anyone want to chat? Because I have nothing to chat about for now. I'm too busy being what the fuck is him to be just even pitying for you. I just want to listen to whatever Odd has to say at this point. That seems like the most entertainment in this hellscape. Oh boy. What, what's Odd saying? He is um, probably looking around saying like, okay, any day now, we're almost there. And he's just been progressively getting, like, more anxious about it. Oh my god, I really hope we're, we're lost, there. aren't we? We're on the wrong mountain. I really hope we're almost there. Oh god, I don't want Odd to be around here anymore. I just want him to get out of here. <laughs> so he's sweating underneath all of his winter clothes. Wow. Good for him. Ew. So if I'm looking at Rickard, and Rickard is probably looking at Stonk, and Stonk is looking at Odd, where's Lene looking? I had. <laughs> Good for him. <laughs> Right. Where's Odd looking? Uh, everywhere. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> everywhere. Uh, Do I? The anxious wreck. <laughs> Do I notice the tension between the two of y'all? Honestly, tension I think is loosened a little bit. It's just oh. it's not confusion. It's it's just <laughs> there's there's a connection that wasn't there before. Okay. Keep um, an eye on that. Actually, who wants walking. to be the survival leader? Oh yeah, I'll do it. It was great last time. Yo, you want to use my plus one? What are you? <laughs> you want to give me uh, guidance? I'm too distracted. <laughs> you want guidance? All right. You want me to roll? I have a plus four. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it'll go great. Uh, <laughs> you're fine. Non natural twenty. <laughs> I saw a single digit. You're I wanted that. Oh my god! <laughs> great. It was all, that you did it. By all. By all accounts, you should have a significantly better chance uh-huh. by just the sheer fact of re-rolling ones and a plus four. How is Stonk rolling consistently better? Uh, because four. I'm cursed. You rolled like four fours in a row. 
Yeah. That is true. I did do that, but those didn't matter. Now they do. Yeah, sure. I, they they didn't cursed. matter. <laughs> they rolled well to save themselves from, you know, going cold. Song so. looks, at, looks at the ring. This is stupid. It's a ring. Yeah. I don't understand it. I, Therefore, it does not exist. How yeah. far up the mountain do we keep those? Okay. Stonk, uh, with that high of a survival check, I'll say um, there are a few instances where the wind and snow clear up enough to where you can actually get a better glimpse ahead of you. And I'm you see, eye, with see. your special eagle eyes, <laughs> you see in the distance uh, a black spire tearing its way out of a snowy mountainside as a large tower looms kind of above the valley made of black stone. Not of, like, a- of obsidian black stone, but, like, actual, like, dark stone. Mm-hmm. Deep slate. Yeah. <laughs> Deep slate Minecraft. Minecraft. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll Minecraft. shout out to Odd. Is that the tower we're looking for? What, 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 over the, where, uh, oh, oh, yeah, oh, look, we're here. What's that, uh, oh, great, we're here, oh, fuck, It started out as an, oh, great, we're here, and then it ended with a, oh, we're here. Well, we'll be there soon. I rest and my hand on my sword. All right. The vibes are rancid. Um. Don't worry about the vibes. Everyone make a perception there. check. Perception. That's what I'm no. good at. Okay, I got a two, but I have a magic, so I'm gonna do that again because I feel like this is important. Yeah, say fifteen. Seventeen plus stuff. Um, without opening up my laptop, which I'm doing right now, I'm pretty certain that's a twenty-two. All right, Not that's good. nineteen, yeah, that's and I need to mark down a um, sorcery point. What'd you get? Fifteen. Fifteen. Twenty-two. 19 with mana magic to get him. <laughs> Say, uh, both Elric and Slane, you notice this. Um, through... So, so I'll say, as, as you begin to approach Stonk with your special eyes, then you can see those that high detail. Well, while you're not being perceptive, you do know the very basics of what this structure looks like. Um, you see the tower is made of large, dark bricks weathered from years of wind and snow. Um, there are cracks between the stones where the wind has kind of carved its way through the tower. And Elric and Slane, you notice um, through one of the cracks, you see a white blue glow kind of linger in the shadows before disappearing and moving away. Does that mean anything to us? Yeah, there's something in there. There's Is that magic? Is that oh, this regular blue glow? You are not close enough to know. You don't have special eyes. Yeah. If you look Come at it right longer, you're going to take psychic damage. I, I, you, with, your, with your specialized, you can see me being confused by this blue glow. No, that's not how my specialized work. Uh, I, no, my specialized. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm starting to see that Elric's uh, main emotion is confused. It wasn't... Not was, an intelligence. He was supposed to be, like, serene until you found the secret. And then you did that session one. <laughs> Mission accomplished. <laughs> Welcome to the party. Slane, make a deck saving throw, please. Oh, God. Burn check. Doesn't oh. matter. I don't care. I don't think it matters. What type of save is this? Uh, is this against magic? No. Uh... uh 16. All right, with a 16, you notice you as you're, you're, you're a little short boy, you're wading through the snow a little bit more than everybody else. Uh-huh. Um, as you walk forward, you actually feel your um, your foot like latch onto something, kind of like a root, or, or it, it, yeah, it feels like a root, and you feel yourself beginning to trip, but you're able to catch yourself and keep moving on. You don't see any trees, though. Can I try and, like, look? At roughly where the root was. You want to dig around? Yeah. Okay. Perception check. Will you let anyone else know that you're stopping to do uh, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Hey guys, there's a root here. Hey guys, I almost tripped and fell. We're gonna see what it is. Oh my god, that was a Mazda. Uh, twenty six. You dig through the <laughs> snow, um, looking around, and you you begin to feel the remnants of a handle. And from the snow, it, it's kind of frozen down there, but you're able to pull it out slightly, and you see what appears to be a battle axe um, with a few droplets of blood on its handle. So one drop of battle axe? Is that a no. old, dried blood or freshish blood? You, you medicine check? 
I, I have proficiency in medicine. So do I. I will also roll a medicine check. Four plus because my medicine something plus seven nine. That was a sharp smack. That was really loud. Uh, twenty two again. All right. With a twenty, you you aren't sure. With a twenty two, um, this thing has been frozen in the snow for quite some time, so you don't see any frozen blood in the snow. So you can assume that it's been a while, but you don't see any remnants of the body. Anyone yet. want it? Um, I'll come over and look at it. You already have my magic bow. Just a regular old bow act. Yeah. Nothing special about it. Nope. Yeah. Give it to Rickard. Rickard, non bow I mean, I could it. use it. I can have a melee weapon. Because I'm, I'm great in didn't melee I, Didn't combat. you take Mikkel's weapons? Yes. Odd, like, kind of looks up and says, well, where did you, where did you get that? Right here. Is this in the snow? Uh-huh. He kind of looks up at the tower, which you guys are now kind of making the way up to, and he looks up, mm-hmm. okay. I'm wanna, uh, actively perceiving for the blue yeah. light. Okay. As we go. Well, I don't, do I don't, you want it? You don't seem very well armed. Uh, sure. I'll take it. I'm gonna just, like... Gently handed over to someone who's probably not much stronger than Slinase and might even be weaker. He 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 picks it up. And he's like, "Oh, okay." And he takes a look at. It. Oh god! Oh god! Is that blood? No. Did you have to give it's me paint. the bloody one? It's paint. Uh I'll roll a deception. It's blood. It's paint. It's blood. <laughs> it's paint. Make it could be both. I will roll with a disadvantage. He goes to any he, he two hands and he goes. Ugh. It can't be both. Uh, five and a four. Yeah, I bet you what. <laughs> What's your deception? Oh, my deception is a six. I thought I was proficient in that, and it turns out it's uh, persuasion. Whoa. Why'd you have to give me disadvantage there? Yeah, oh, well, yeah. That would have so much difference. Yeah, would have been a seven versus a six. <laughs> you never know. You're patronizing him. Yes. You begin to make your way more up the pathway, and at this point, um, you are close enough to see... The small wooden door um, in the, as the entrance for the tower, and you notice it actually appears to be swinging in the wind, as if it is not locked. I will approach more cautiously, and I will pull out my halberd. Do we want to stealth? Um, I would probably be going stealthy. A little I'll way? go slow. Yeah, I'll stealth. Uh, sure. Does the Ooh, door has... look like it was left open or was forced open? What check would that be? Uh, investigation? investigation? Yeah. Investigation would be up close. I'm, I'm gonna, 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 gonna walk up to the door. I'll look to see if there's like. Who has heavy armor on? Invest, I guess. No one. Oh, he's shit. got medium armor on, right? I, I have. Does yours impose disadvantage? It does. It does. And then here, have advantage to cancel it out. I have a plus three. Magic. Magic. Oh, I don't know why I rolled too well. Eh, I saw the nat one. <laughs> 15 plus 3 and 18. Nice and 20. Mm-hmm. Um, not even God can find me now. Okay. I suppose I'm investigating because I'm the one who said it, even mm-hmm. though I suck Great. ass at nice. nine. I'll give you advantage. Oh, 12. It's nine. Does it take 12? 11. That's six. It's a very no, old door. Did I roll the nine? You rolled the nine. Oh, in that case, that is uh, 12. So 12. 12. Would you roll? Uh, nine. The latch doesn't look like it got shattered or anything. All right. Um... Odd is going to kind of be cowering behind you all, holding his holding his little weapon. It's <laughs> a big it's ass. Well, it's a it's great the axe. thing that breaks well, our no, stealth. No, it's a battle axe. Oh, never mind. It's a great axe for yeah. Slinet. Yeah. The thing that breaks our stealth was just a battle axe rally. Yeah. That's espresso depresso. All right. God, I want espresso. Are you ready? Um, oh, yeah. Sure. We go in. Let's yeah. break in. I'm going to knock on the door first. If, yes, of course me first. If, yeah. if traps happen, no, they didn't. It's stonk. Yeah. I get advantage on all dex checks against traps. And things, so rich. In front of you, as um, you open up this door, there's a small, narrow hallway that, that you walk down, and it opens to a large, circular room at around 50 feet in diameter with holes in the ceiling caved from the collapse of the rooftop a few floors up. Mm-hmm. Burying a small area of the room in stone and rubble and broken bookshelves and tables. 
The wind from the valley seeps in through the cracks, disturbing the discarded papers and books lying on the floor. Most of the books around you have been stocked, stacked atop piles of rubble, but multiple bookshelves still stand for, uh, to form a messy, ruined library. In the center of a room, the large uh, lays a large pile of stone with an old reddish banner draping over it. Um, odd at this point. Kira. Kira. Gotta say her name louder. That's not even reverberating through the tower. Kiva! <laughs> you know what? Uh, say her name one more time for me. Kiva! Thaumaturgy, his voice is three times louder. <laughs> that voice cracks just like. <laughs> <laughs> Can I investigate uh, that banner? Uh, yeah, go ahead. I'm curious about that banner myself. Uh, that is a 22. Okay. With the 22, you lift up the banner, um, and there not, it seems to be nothing really special about the banner, but you open it to see, atop like some rubble and stuff, there is a small pedestal with a beautiful crystal orb in the center. Mm. Mm. I pick up the book off the floor. What is it? Um, roll a percentile. It's smut. It's all smut in this library. Yeah, it's only porn. <laughs> Fourteen. The fourteen? It's not even good smut at that point. <laughs> um, you pick up a weird it's book. Harry Potter fan fiction. You pick up a <laughs> weird book about the <laughs> the um, attempt of gnomish revolution in the South and their inevitable failure every time they try. <laughs> huh. I, I I sympathize with my comrades. <laughs> my gnomes. <laughs> Can I comrades. roll arcana on the, the orb? Yeah. See if it's like magic or orb. Can Can I special? Give you advantage on that. I would love advantage. I can't give, give you advantage. Can I steal that? Stonk is it. big stupid. He doesn't know what it is. I don't know what the hell is going on What's here. Gonna be? What's it going to be? Seven. <laughs> <laughs> Two and two. Ten. Wow. Ten. What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? And you're interrupted. Oh, that's oh. amazing. Hello. <laughs> you hear, um, echoing off the walls, a deep rumble of a voice. You shouldn't have come here. Never should have come here. Odd, like, perks up a little bit. Kida? Kida? It's me! Your, your friend Odd! And he kind of, like, steps out. He has no idea where the voice is coming from, but just kind of walks toward the center I, of the room. I would like to Hi. prepare to tackle him in the event that there's something gonna come flying at his okay, head. Okay, got it. Got it. <laughs> Attack rolls to kill him have disadvantage. <laughs> okay, so who wasn't doing something, Stonk, probably? What's your passive perception? 12. You were helping him with the sphere. 25, though. With... Ooh. That's my passive. Your passive is 25. How is it 25. Um, There's proficiency profe- uh, in perception, expertise. and then because of uh, expertise, it doubles my proficiency, and then observant, which adds a plus five to my passive for twenty five. All right. If you have disadvantage because you're doing something, that's if 20, I have disadvantage, twenty. Okay. And what was yours? And twelve. And I was okay. reading a book. Slane, you notice that as that voice speaks up, your 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 big half long ears like perk up, <laughs> and you notice um, the gaydar is peeing. You notice in the shadows of um, some of the bookshelves a large creature with rocky gray skin and pale eyes glares at you from within the shadow of the bookshelves in front of you. Two pale blue eyes glow from under the hood um, and long dreadlocks of black hair with gray stone beads draping off of their broad shoulders. The rest of um, the body of this creature is completely obscured by shadow. (sighs) Is this, uh, not the place to get answers? You say that out loud. Yeah. No, it's like, an odd, it's like, I swear, I swear, I heard, I heard something, I heard something. It is dangerous here, the voice says. How so? I am dangerous. And then you see Odd's face kind Who of like, <laughs> You see Odd's face kind of like, oh. Can I, does, is this Kiva? You don't know. Hi, Dangerous. This We're the party. Ke- are, are, are you Keitha? Keita? Keita? Oh, Keita. you just kind of perk up a little bit? Yes. 
friend here has a question that only you can answer. Odd kind of like perspective. Oh, yes, yes, uh, Hila, um, how have you been? It's been so long. And at this point, he, he notices the where that where the figure is and begins to like kind of step towards her a little bit. It's been it's been so long. He uh, no. Oh. No, we're going to No. Does he Do we does he get why no? <laughs> does he is he confused? <laughs> she's she's a friend. She's not she, going to hurt you. She's a friend. But she herself just said she's dangerous. And oh, yes, of course she's but dangerous. But getting getting by like pinned down she is getting right close. The, I'll say that you spent a while going. Mm. Getting <laughs> that voice coming. Getting, yeah, and getting that, now close you do. to someone who says they're dangerous can dangerous. possibly make it more dangerous. She, she'd never hurt me. Odd came here to you prepare get questions answered. You prepare bandages. I am. We'll have them answered. Well, I stand by my original thing and prepared to tackle him at the moment something comes swinging, so... I'm prepared to watch. <laughs> I, I, I will let the old man go forward, I guess. <laughs> I Half the party's just by <laughs> default. Don't worry, that. there's two doctors in the party. <laughs> I'm a doctor. No, I'm a doctor. <laughs> I want to see Dr. Stunk. Claire. <laughs> Dr. Stunk. All right, he's in the arm. <laughs> Breaks Dr. a rib with Dr. the dude's Stunk. arm. Is for sure a mercy monk who is doing more damage by punching them than actually using healing. Yeah. <laughs> First off, if I may, uh, what happened here? And he kind of gestures to around him, and at this point, you all notice the the, the figure in the shadows, and she kind of narrows her eyes a little bit and says. Years of neglect. He goes, oh. Shit. Oh. Can I roll an insight on that if she's... Neglect from who? Yeah, that's the yeah. kind of my okay. insight that I want to roll. All right, go ahead, roll. I just asked the question. Uh, I don't remember if I have a plus ten to my insight. One second. Yeah, well, yeah. It's only that a plus insight. seven. It's, it's only a nineteen. <sighs> Tragic. The, the voice speaks up and says, Recently, there was a period of time which I was unable to fulfill my duties. And Odd just kind of pe- peeks up a little bit. Says, Kiva, when was the last time your father visited you? And the eyes kind of narrow oof, and go, not since I was a girl. And he just kind of goes, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, can fuck. I, can I just oh, God. quickly look at Odd real fast? And just go up. Look at that. Do I just pull, can I just point at my, my, my holy symbol underneath my, my shirt, like kind of hit it just to be on the safe side? Oh, thank God. Worse, worse, and he like pats her on the shoulder. Oh. Um. <laughs> oh shit. Okay. Well, um, if if now is not the time, we can, I I can come back later, and he starts stepping out backwards. Huh. Mm. I think he's finally understanding the brevity of the situation. I, I kind of want to see how this keeps going, too. Stonk's going to step behind Odd and prevent him from backing oh. 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 Hey, buddy, dude, we talked about this last night. Come on. <laughs> you are willing to risk your life to find the answers. Oh. Here they are. Oh, the party is going down oh. the dark side. Just whoa, whoa, a little whoa, whoa. bit. Going down the dark side. Uh, whoa. Well, uh, uh. There, there's like a clear choice Wait. here. What? Yeah, we're clearly doing the wrong one. Record <laughs> backs me up on this one, though. Oh, totally. Yeah. What, uh, uh, what danger do you pose with answering? It is not the danger I pose with answering. It's the danger I pose to you for existing as I am. What are you? And I take a step forward. Oh, boy. 
Her entire left arm appears to be partially paralyzed, thin and covered in blackened veins that extend up to her neck. The entire arm and her lower face is covered in burn marks as she walks with a limp and an arched shoulder she uses to cover her face. She appears to be half giant. Roll nature to know the other half. Oh. <laughs> Nature's a wisdom check, right? No. Oh, why does it have to be it's intelligent? intelligent. <laughs> Not 20. Hey. 15. It's great that you get enough. 10. 10. 15. 15? 15? What'd you get? Nature. Nature. 11. 11. Nature. You two don't know. You two are pretty fucking certain that that's, that's half giant, half Goliath. So it's the anti Hilda mixture. Yeah. Stock still doesn't know, does he? <laughs> oh, it's gonna be called the Hilda thing? <laughs> yeah, no, I still don't know about that. <laughs> oh my god, that is gonna be so funny when I find out. One of the party members who had that conversation is fucking dead, and the other one's a record. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, I was really hoping Mikkel would use that. I didn't have time. Did, doesn't Slane know? Didn't you? Didn't oh, you do it with the truths did. and a lie? Yeah, I. No, no, uh, no. It wasn't during truths and a lie. No, I think she talked knows. to me. This did stonk about it. Oh, oh, oh! What well, the conversation was? You know that Hilda's his cousin, but you don't know that Hilda. Well, it's not about him. It's about him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you know, I know from my insight that I rolled when when you asked something. I think. Yeah. Either way. Uh, either way, half giant, half Goliath. Yep. And you're blocking Odd's way right now, and he's just kind of like, oh, God, oh, God, oh, fuck. I'm just standing in the corner of the room just watching this happen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so so she, she comes to her, and she's covered in the burn marks, and she's got one black, kind of blackened arm. And she steps forward and um, says, It's been going on for months. <laughs> This curse, it festers. How did you have the curse? How did it start? Let's just say there was an accident in the basement. I've sealed it off, but if you want to go down there, I'll let you see it. Why do people get terror party's interest? Jesus. <laughs> yeah. I, I want to Can go I down roll medicine to see if I can figure yeah. out what's going on yeah, this go person? Yeah, all want to go down there. Medicine? Yeah. <laughs> or roll medicine. Yeah, it's just a better check for me. Eight. Uh-huh. Uh, 17. You aren't entirely sure, but with a 17... You remember that fire giant? Oh god, oh fuck, oh, oh shit. God, oh, oh fuck, oh shit. Oh, shit. Me, I'm like, huh, okay. Wait. Mikhail and the grave, stop, <laughs> stop, fuck, don't do it, <laughs> shit. Don't, don't go in there, don't do it. Uh. Yeah, no, Mikhail is screaming from the grave, get the fuck out of here. But we're going down, right? A good thing we're not giants. Turns to Mikkel. <laughs> <laughs> and your father, who was he? She kind of like narrows her eyes and looks to Odd, who is still kind of like cowering in the corner a little bit. What did you tell them? And he kind of, oh, nothing! I didn't tell them anything! I didn't, uh, I didn't. All, all he said is that you were an old friend. She kind of like smiles a little bit and goes, old friend. 500 years ago, old friend. What? What? That was, what? What? At this point, at this point, Odd's like, I need to get out. I need to get no, out. No, 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 no. I need to get out. Oh, I need, yeah. I have a question for you. Oh, uh, you wow, there are a lot of questions going around today. Uh, I a very firm hand. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, and if you manage to get out, um, remember, Thaumaturgy's purpose. 
I, I'm was... letting him know I have other magics. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Um, so, where did you find that ring again? Uh... What's her ring? My hand squeezes. Okay, well, you give me a moment to get And he pulls it out of his pocket, and he says, Hi, Kita, I came here to show you something. It's a... A, a, a relic, I guess, uh, and I, I need your opinion on what exactly it is and what it could mean. And he's like, kind of like holding it in his hand, like it's like disgusting. Yeah. Yo, for the record, I fire. feel so fucking vindicated for leaving this guy in the snow now. Honestly, <laughs> honestly, I feel kind of bad for bringing him along oh, now. <laughs> oh, she's like what like 20, 30. Yeah, no, I was, I was along that line. Uh, <laughs> Secondly, yeah. how has a human lived for Let's figure out the ring first! That's why I'm here! He didn't answer the first question that, either. That's fair, where'd you get the ring? <sighs> fine, fine. Can... What's, what's the girl doing with the ring? In the uh, she, he's kind of still holding it like this, and she's just kind of looking at it from a distance, and whoever's paying attention to her notices a slit on the top of her head open to a third eye. Oh, I don't like that. It's a glowing red, like a stonk eye. No, <laughs> no it's it's the same kind of pale blue as her other eyes. <laughs> and uh, he's like, okay. Since this universe is I was traveling around, and you know, as I normally do, and um, I just, I just so happened to stumble. Stumble, uh, stumble upon it. Yep. Insight. Uh, <laughs> do you want to give me advantage on the insight? Yes. I don't even think you need. I don't insight. need <laughs> guidance. Guidance as well. Oh, gee. y'all are spoiling me right now. Don't fuck it up. Don't fuck it up with a hey. natural eighteen, Woo! dirty 20, 27. <laughs> he does. He didn't do anything morally like reprehensible, like grave digging to get it. Uh-huh. But he definitely doesn't want to admit what he was doing. Oh, um, it's a wedding ring. He was having horny times. He took it. <laughs> You're up. We're threatening this man while his friend is across the room. Well, we, we do I do do I pull out a card I haven't done yet because yeah. I, I feel like this is appropriate. Do it as a follower of Alumace. Mm-hmm. Are you sure you want this getting back to him? He kind of looks like. Wait, what are you talking? Oh, 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 wait. <laughs> um, no, no, of course uh, 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 not. But um. I mean... So where'd you find it? I need to look up the map. Yeah, to find just, I'm still like, the what, man, what the we? fuck is this ring? <laughs> <laughs> now she's holding the one ring up. Can I figure out what the yeah. fuck this is? Um, one ring so, to rule them all. <laughs> Plot twist, you have identi- you've had identified the whole time. I'll just been put it on. <laughs> yeah. Nothing bad could happen from this. Well, Oh god, it doesn't come off. It binds to me. Wait, so, quick, someone get the dish soap. I swear I heard that works somewhere. I'll just cut off my finger. Why did they cut it? Get a hobbit to bite it off. Well, um, a couple years ago I was doing some, uh, well, a couple years, more like a five or ten years ago, but I, I was, I was, uh, wandering around and I just, I was wandering around somewhere I wasn't supposed to and I found this. It was the it, it. As far as I know, it belongs to no one. As far as I'm concerned, I didn't steal it. Where? Uh, what is this you're ring? dancing around the lo- <laughs> All we want is oh, a location. Oh, oh. You guys have realized he's never once at a location this whole goddamn time. He doesn't yeah. know shit. Oh fuck. He he, <sighs> he probably found it on a different fucking continent. <laughs> that sounds about right. Uh Secondly, as a human... You, you skipped over him saying where again. But he's not uh, answering your questions. Yeah. Can I, can yeah. I take he's a closer look at this ring he's holding up? Without answering the actual question. Does the ring, 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 ring the ring? 
What do you mean? This is what I. Do. I haven't oh. seen the ring yet. Can oh, I give it a look? See either. either. Yeah, you you Can see it. Kind of you see the the giant runes on the outside, and with a high enough passive investigation, which probably Rickard, you have. Yeah. You notice the elvish what on the inside of the band. Oh boy. Is it hey. time to cast a fun spell? Yeah, give me a second. I really have to piss. Oh, I have a fun spell as well. Uh, yeah, feel free to talk about that. I'll be right Charm back. person. I have on lightning odd bolt. Or me? On odd. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm planning on cast. <laughs> Why would I cast it on you? Well, you looked directly at me when I you were looking- saying it, like it was a power move. I was like, oh, no, what my the power- fuck are you doing it to me for? My power move is to cast it on Stonk when I'm in danger, because that gets Stonk's attention real fast. That gets, that gets Stonk's attention real fast. <laughs> and if, if you're, like, really in danger, you're like, like, oh, shit, that's a beacon, that's a red flag, shit's going wild. That, man. that is... The only time Stonk has said, yeah, that that's I understand why you did this. <laughs> I have, Don't ever do it again, but I do understand why you did that. I have life. It's a right move, but I I'm can, bad about I it. <laughs> disintegrate this man. I I hate that what you did was right. Yeah. Or what you did yeah, what you did was right, but it wasn't correct. Also, I'm like, wait, my great great grandpa I Isaac's alive? You can live that long? Wait, these fuckers are 500 years old? Is everyone <laughs> born? <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I cast Comprehend Languages. Okay. Wait till he finds out I'm uh, 132. That's just, that's just happening. Okay, okay, that's within reason. A human... But he's only experienced human life span for the most part from what I'm gathering from this. Yeah. A human could conceivably barely live like that would be pushing the human bounds of humanity. But and I'm cool. still in my spry equivalent of my early fifties. He's so young for his age. Full, you're a full on Bilbo. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm spry. I'm going on one last adventure. You know what? That's why I'm flavoring my just my invisibility from now on. I'm just putting on a ring and taking it off. <laughs> yeah. It's just completely a normal <laughs> ring. You just do it for like the meme, the flare. You do it for the flare and just like yeah. concentration purposes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, because the earmuffs and glasses, because I have a little bit of a headache and I don't. Because the earmuffs also have no purpose other than I like the aesthetic of put on the earmuffs. Because if you can't hear yourself, clearly no one else can hear you. I like the idea. No, you put on sunglasses. Yeah, I, I really like the idea of characters who are like super serious and they have like the strict culture of like how they do stuff, but they also do just random stuff every once in a while just because they think it looks cool <laughs> and they're just kind of happy with it, like snapping their fingers to do something cool. I'm uh-huh. just like, Speaking I don't want to cool. do it. I can just do it just by hey, thinking we're back. it. But so, what were you thinking of? Oh, um, make me a wisdom saving throw. Also, our friend languages. Yeah. Um, we're not technically fighting it. Okay. Technically. Technically. Right this is on a technicality. I, is the width of saving for odd? Save. Fuck. She rolled with advantage, too. Mm-hmm. Odd's definitely not a human. So, since you're not gonna tell us, I'm gonna turn to his friend. So, uh, what, what, what is odd? Since, uh, it's not apparently what he seems. She kind of narrows her three eyes at you. <laughs> um, and I'm like, who the fuck is honest? There's a three-eyed woman in front of us. <laughs> yeah. She, she looks a little confused as well, but says Odd, if you haven't guessed isn't his name. I have no friends named Odd. Oh. Of course, it's a ridiculous name. I never would have expected that his name's actually Odd, of course. I knew him <laughs> as Elumace. Chris leaves. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want Elumace to find out about this? Uh, <laughs> I no. had the suspicion. <laughs> uh, yeah. 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 There's, there he is! Yeah. There's your god. So uh, I'm gonna turn back to my god. <laughs> my god. And he just starts laughing. <laughs> I got your message! <laughs> I'm going to walk over to him. <laughs> and just slap him. Go right ahead. Elamace, this doesn't seem so like party rock of you. <laughs> Technically, I haven't grappled, so you have advantage on the attack. <laughs> 
Let's see if I roll a nat 20, I still do zero damage. Ah, uh, nah, it's, uh... But you probably get hit. He has a high oh, AC, I'll he's hit. goddamn god. Um, uh... He's like 26 AC. I actually have to get my actions, because I never use my unarmed strike. It's a plus one for a 14. That hits? Oh, yay. Uh, I do zero points of damage. Not that I was planning on doing damage, but I mean, oof! <laughs> Wait a second. So there's this ring that we take into this lady. A goddamn god's taking it to this uh-huh. lady. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So where have you been? Traveling to get here! And I'm really curious about that ring now. <laughs> <laughs> and you didn't bother to tell anyone? You just let us assume you were missing? Sunday. no one can know about this except for uh, you, Hida. I come for your advice, but no one else can know. And she just is like, what the fuck is this guy? Can we get the copper hand languages? <laughs> yeah. So the copper hand languages on the ring, I- ironically, doesn't really give you much. What it gives you is basically on the inside of the ring there appears to be like an o- a oath of a loyalty. I guess like a marriage oath, I guess you could say, would be on the inside of it. The outside of it is not doesn't mean anything. It's okay. just using the giant uh, runes as decoration. symbolism. Decoration. Yeah. Okay. So it's just a wedding ring. It is literally you, you just, just, you just, you just gave a wedding ring. like, hey, look at this. <laughs> oh god, it's a wedding ring. The most evil thing I can think of. Oh no. Uh, can, can we at least figure out what the ring is now? The wedding ring? Yeah. That is, like what is, what's going on with this? I don't even think it gave off magic when I cast it to detect magic the other day, either. No. It's just a ring. It's just a ring. Or do you say that? Yes. And he uh, any, any kind of like waves his hands in the air. Do you let him go? Sure. And he, he kind of he walks over and holds the ring up. And he says, The place I found this isn't really accessible to people. This is not a mortal's ring. A giant, or gods forbid, a Jotun married an elf. This thing is fucking ancient! He turns to Kiba and holds up the ring. She takes a couple steps forward and with her good hand, she grabs it and with her third eye, she kind of intently looks at it and they widen as she inspects it more and eventually they, her face kind of vaguely looks it, it's like bewilderment i'll say it's not it's a mixture of fear and bewilderment as she looks to it and says what you should not have brought this here who, who is this i don't know who it is and she just kind of she puts it in her pocket he's like what, what do you what do you do what are you doing she says I appreciate you all helping my friend Odd get to me. I am willing to help you in all of the ways I physically am able to. But for now, give me 30 minutes of peace to find out exactly what this is and if my suspicions are true. I think we're being kicked. I think we're being kicked out. out. (laughs) Are we all being kicked out? Is Odd staying? Or is Odd being kicked out? She's not kicking you out. She's, leave me the fuck alone. Don't touch my stuff. Talk amongst ourselves. I slowly put down my gnome book. (laughs) Alright. Yeah, that's reasonable. (laughs) She takes the ring and turns to the rubble and actually begins... Quite effortlessly, even with one bad arm, kind of climbs up the rubble and goes up to the second floor above you. Alaric seems bemused why you all care about this. 
Odd is just kind of, like, anxiously chuckling. <laughs> so, if this is Alamace, who the fuck is Kida? Actually. So that's your god. Yes. The one who's been missing. Now what? No, no, not that, not that. I I needed a question answered because I genuinely forgot. Uh. Not super long. Okay. So, more than a couple years. It's like ten-ish years? Yeah, maybe like eight. Okay. <clears throat> yes, that's, that's my thought. That's been missing for eight fucking years. <laughs> And the mace was missing? And I was did great about not getting found out until now. Eight God forsaken years. Literally. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Didn't know where you were. The parties were not as enjoyable. You didn't let anyone know. For eight fucking years. So, Nay, is the parties what you're worried about? This is why I'm not the let them live. We're always watching this with popcorn. It makes the world more interesting, and also, it would be very disappointing if you were to die. Yeah. Um, honestly, <laughs> What else is there? Probably punch their own Other than parties? Yeah. And you just let it happen. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> the fate of the universe. That's what I realized, Sune, when I ran away. Oh god, he got so hot he saw the moon. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, he saw Joe Rogan got some DMT. <laughs> <laughs> Changed his life for the worst. I realized that I didn't have the time to ignore things anymore. So before it's too late, I'm getting this done. You're wandering for eight years lost. Do I look like a god to you? Do I look strong enough to be a god to you? No. That arrow almost killed me. Then why are you called a god? Because I am now weak. Because you are. Because I'm getting old. If we drop kick him, what happens to Slane? <laughs> Please no. Slane loses his spell slot. <laughs> <laughs> I what? lose all of my cleric levels. There's only one party Slane healing is now. the more powerful being than his own god. <laughs> I. Slane now force Yeah, yeah that, goes I think that, that actually. If you kill a no, I wouldn't. If you bar. kill a god, does all the power go to his most powerful cleric? I, I, I really think I am Alamace's most powerful cleric. Yeah, you're. Well, yeah, you're more powerful than fucking Alamace. <laughs> <laughs> There's a reason I'm multi class. Second level max missile. <laughs> he's done. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, you want to kill a god? Now's your chance. <laughs> god oh killer. So god killer. Yeah. <laughs> A god taking the name God Killer by killing like the weakest fucking god. <laughs> you could call me Stock the God Killer. Didn't you only kill that old man? Yes. He was still a That's god. A technicality. <laughs> I killed a dragon. You stepped on a baby crocodile. It counts. Not even a baby crocodile. You, you just, it, like, you stepped on a nest and, like, you killed the eggs. Egg. Yeah. <laughs> you made an omelet of dragon flare. <laughs> I feast on dragons. <laughs> All right. Um, huh, anyways, D&D, y'all. Yeah. How is this session funny? This wasn't supposed to be a funny session. <laughs> All right, well. Actually uh, God told you that the phone. universe was in danger. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> So what, once again, we'll ignore the parties. 
The universe is in danger and you didn't bother fucking telling anyone? What would you would have done? Honestly, I probably would have come in about the same direction. Yeah? Yeah. Probably would have come. I would have partied along the way. But, you know, I would have still probably come along this way. So you'd still be here. Yeah. So nothing would change. I would have been here sooner. You said yourself, time is of the essence. And you got here, we both got here, as fast as we could. No. You tried. (laughs) (laughs) I think it's just been a really weird day for Alric. Uh, He he kind of vanished like eight years ago. I got that. I meant the universe. What the fuck is that? The universe? I'm assuming we're saying this in there terms are, that people there are would things understand. That none of us know. That we should know. Is it okay? Go on. That ring, in my opinion, from where I found it, felt like... Where did you find it? Jotunheim, by Valcliff. Thank you. Does that mean anything in particular to us? <laughs> Roll a his religion check. <gasps> religion? Oh, I'm good at these. Uh, I'm not. I am good at religion. Just not as good not as Not 20 be. plus two. I rolled a three, so I got an 11. Uh, I rolled a four, so I 19. got a four. 19? 22. All right. Oh. Um, if that's the case, you would know that Valcliff is... It's where the undead go who aren't like zombie undead. Spirits of warriors. That the equivalent like Valhalla. It's 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 like a little baby Valhalla for the baby warriors, not the yeah. Cool it's for kids. the baby for warriors. the ones who didn't die in battle. Yeah, the ones who did die in battle, but they were like kind of shit battle. Yeah. but they tried. Mortals who go there get fuck get fucked up. Like living people don't go there, or shouldn't shouldn't. All right, we know we're going there. Just kidding. Yep. <laughs> next, next plot on our um, tour of the northern okay. of Elmenheim. So, a giant marries an elf. Why does that make a difference? Because we don't know about it. There were so many things in that godforsaken temple that I didn't even know about. Literally. That I didn't even know existed. Somebody is hiding it. Somebody is erasing it. Yes, the Jotun. Can we add to this? They view anything that paints them weak as something that needs to be obliterated from history. Piss sniffer married an elf. Can, can we add the piss sniffer to the list? What? Can we add the piss sniffer to the list? Of, of God. Things, yeah, yeah, she's okay. been on the list. I didn't know she are was we, on the list. Are we saying All this? Is that in character? List. Oh, absolutely. While he's going on this whole tirade. What is the list? <laughs> <laughs> What's the list have to do with the fate of the universe and in propaganda? I... So, a Jotun married an elf years ago. And now it's threatening the universe itself. No, I don't... I don't think it's threatening the universe, but I think... If I am a god, and even I don't know things, I wonder what other things they are keeping from us. Well, I know what I'm using my wish on. Get me an elf boyfriend. Go. No. Take a look. Not to save the town no, that you promised no, to save. No, someone else already said he was going to use it for that. Sure. Oh, fuck. Who? Um, Stonk. He said he didn't need it. Stonk said he'd do it for me. Okay. No, I don't say anything. No. Listen, I, I truly thank you for bringing me here. I, I'm, just try, I'm just trying to figure out what it is. If it's, if it's nothing, then... And I'll go on our way and pretend this never happened. And if it's something. And if it's something, we 
you go on your way. Like nothing happened, and I'll figure it out. Yeah, um, eight years alone, figuring it out. We're not bringing him with. Oh, we're not bringing him with. Good. It seems like a nice place to go. I have ideas, Gordon. What to do. I don't... I don't need you, but it's nice to have you around. But, plus, I've got... I, 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 have, I have my Kita now. Hey. Who is Kita's father? Ingvald. And her mother, I assume, was a Goliath. Her name is Ingi They abandoned her here. I wish pay child support. <laughs> <laughs> well, pay child. Go visit your child. Go visit your child in the tower. <laughs> so if we had not. If he had chosen just to fucking ignore elements in the snow, would he have just died? Mm-hmm. It wouldn't have my powers anymore. That would be really awkward to find oh, out. Oh, I just abandoned my god in the and snow. He just fucking died in Lauren snow. just says, hey, you don't get your spell slots back. And you're like, what? And you're like, yeah, no. It's snow. You only got a few more left to make them count. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. I don't think Slane could even choose another god in the pantheon. <laughs> choose Hvetin. The god of wheat. <laughs> wheat. You said it had to be this. Uh, yes. I'm going to spread the the good news. The harvest is coming. <laughs> the harvest is coming. That means wheat. And you know what wheat well, means? Beer. beer. <laughs> yeah, that's probably what you do. It's yeah. the proto party. <laughs> oh, man. It before somehow you take warlock levels. <laughs> Do you Everyone's know what that infection now. is? We've seen it before, haven't we? We have? I'm uh, not sure what it is. We've seen it back in that cave or that cricket. Tomb yeah. of the Frozen Man. It seems to affect giants, probably. There was a fire giant there. Was it a fire giant? It, it looked to be one, but it probably... It, well, it was probably... No, it was, well, it was believed to be Ulfiger, <laughs> who was a frost giant. We're pretty certain that it, it changed Ulfiger uh, from a frost giant to a fire giant. Yeah. And also just corrupted him. Yeah. And she, being half giant, appears half corrupted. So... Maybe it takes a long time for her, or maybe she'll die. Mm-hmm. I have had a third data point. What? Mikhail? Mikhail? <laughs> True. Um, well, Mikhail died, so... Yeah. Yeah, we can't verify it's the same thing. Yeah. yeah. Doesn't count as a data point. <laughs> Incomplete. <laughs> There's, there's a circle it does a, there. It does weird things to cat people. <laughs> <laughs> Turns them into Who can poor tell? creatures. <laughs> mm-hmm. You need to see a normal cat man to know for sure. Never. Uh, the only normal tabaxi we saw was Asuka. Does he really count? He's <laughs> broken all the cat's noses you found. <laughs> <laughs> it's tradition. Break the tabaxi nose. Yeah. Right in the tobacco nose, shock and grass the house cat. Yep. <laughs> Anyone have any other questions for Elamace? Alex is sort of having a day, so he's just sort of processing. I'm just conf- I'm just like The confusion is spreading outward. <laughs> it's like Suddenly Slane's heresy all makes sense. Yeah. And also, how how does Slane appear to be more powerful than their god? Oh god. He's down. He's down with his look. He's not doing so hard. <laughs> well, I suppose we can wait. 
to see what Kida has to say. Maybe she'll have more answers. Does Elame still have his spell slots and just no HP, or is he just a little man? Do, a man. do you, now that you are officially Elame's, have alcohol? No. <sighs> he quit drinking. <laughs> The god of parties is sober. We're all doomed. <laughs> Eight years sober. Eight years sober. Yeah. I suppose we'll wait unless anyone wants to do anything else. Alright. We wait 30 minutes. Tick. Oh. I genuinely Tick. want to find out how oh. fucking lost Alame has gotten all of this. My brother is calling me. That's unfortunate for your brother. Well, Kiva um, eventually does climb down, um, looking a little... Her eyes are wide again, um, and she kind of climbs down the wall slowly and turns to you all and says, I have good news and bad news. Okay, let's start with the bad news. The bad news is that I believe this ring belonged to Thor. Good news? Nobody knows about it, except for us. So you're saying Thor married an elf? I believe it. Huh. Well, that's something that Tavi would have loved to hear. <laughs> Tavi was still alive. If Tavi, <laughs> if Tavi were, say, listening to this recording, well, they should leave a comment in the, so, the Discord. Yeah. Uh, if Tavi's listening to this, Tavi's gonna get a sending. Uh-huh. Just, just gonna be like, hey, by the way, God's married to an elf. Have fun with this. Bye-bye now. Your God, specifically. Your God. married to an elf. How does, how does sending work again? Past tense. Like, how does sending work again? As uh, 25 words, if they're on the same plane of existence, which I'm assuming they're on the same plane of they existence. They just get it. No they save. just get it. No so, save, no nothing. Um, they can send another message yep. back, 25 words or less. Yeah. Um, if, it's never if they're on a different body. plane, I can roll a percentile. Right. You never saw a body. You, you can, like, verify if they're still alive. Because I don't think I have <laughs> True. Them, but, but I assume they're still on the same plane as us. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Having read what I read. Who is... Wait, sorry. Who's on the same plane as you? Tavi. No. Technically, yeah. they're not. Okay. Because you guys are in Jotunheimen right now. Okay, then uh, I need a percentile world. Okay. Oh, are you actually doing it? Yeah. Oh, no? okay. 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 Why not? I have spell slots to burn right now. I'm certain <laughs> I won't need them you, later. You have spell slots to burn. You never saw the corpse. If so we, might as well. You know that your god's right there. If he does need more spell slots, just shake him. Give me. I need a head. You, you, you just like me. squeeze at me and bring out his spell slot. <laughs> Give me a ninth level. Go. Stop break, coming you, out here. You break his back and lose all your spell slots. <laughs> no, wait. Oh, Come ca- back. I'll cast cure wounds. Wait, oh fuck, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Does a lesser restoration fix a broken back? No. Is, back, right. is a broken back a disease? <laughs> no. <laughs> Cast mending doesn't do anything. It doesn't repair the nerves. <laughs> I can't right, trip so she, going to she told us that irreparable the nerve ring damage. belongs to Thor, and thankfully, no one knows about it but us. <laughs> She's That's not good. saying that no one will know us after I kill you all to keep no. the secret. She's the, the good news is that no one else knows we have it. All right, Elamis, what does that mean? I really hope she doesn't become a boss battle because I'm really liking her. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I kind of hope we kill Elamis at the end of this, like. I just want to kill him just to see what happens. But honestly, I feel like that's a dick honestly, move. I want to find out for science what happens if you kill your own god. You just resist. Oh, uh, <laughs> you're either gonna level up immediately, or you're gonna lose all your levels. Yeah. If he goes unconscious, is the power hope he just fluctuate, or does it only die once he dies? <laughs> no, nope, roll a new character at that point. <laughs> no, I, I have one level in ranger. Oh yeah, that'll really save you. Uh, I'll be a first level ranger. It'll be fine. Okay, what's Elmis's hot take? Yeah. He just kind of 
is quiet and pondering to himself. And says, Hida, come with me. And she just kind of goes, what? Goes, yeah, come, come with me. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, this this place is a... I mean, I mean, no offense, but it looks kind of shit. So, if no one's watching you, why are you doing your job? Just come, just come with me. What was your job? Her, it's probably to maintain this. Okay. No, she just never said it. So yeah, I was it's in, it's implied that it's yeah she maintains it. Okay. She's doing a really bad job. <laughs> she's as I feel like she has some uh, bigger pre-existing problems. medical conditions yeah. that might be. This is this she is could lending itself to not the greatest work environment. She could probably pick up the books if she wanted. Eventually, over five hundred years. I don't know. Five hundred years. I'd use the excuse of eh, half my body's cursed as an excuse to not do anything that day. I'll do mm-hmm. it tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow. <laughs> oh, would you look at that? I'll do it tomorrow. Ah, <laughs> uh, the depression spiral. And he's like, well, well just just and come I with me. And she didn't do anything. <laughs> she looks very super super confused. She's being adopted right in front of us. Oh, it's just like. Go up. Figure this out before it's too late. For both um, of us. Before it's too late for both of you, I I need to know why is this important? Why does it matter that Thor married an elf a thousand years ago? Do you know what happened to them? Kiva turns to you. They got wiped out. By who? The Jotunheim. By Thor. So what? He got a bit of blue balls from his elven wife and then decided to take out the entire race. <laughs> yeah, basically. This is me laughing, not my care. <laughs> I mean, that's basically what happened, yeah. Oh, okay, Rick cool. was laughing. <laughs> with that phrasing? That phrasing's yeah. great. You're being a dick. I won't let you sleep with me. He has killed all elves ever. Oh, I thought it was a business. Why does no one remember this? There's a whole... And Odd ah, ah is saying this, this. Why does no one remember this? There's a whole... Part of his... Major part of his life that we don't know about. Because it makes him look weak. And if it makes him look weak, it removes his illusion of power. Then there must be other things to make him look weak as well. Of course there are. And I intend to find them. And tell people? Do you want to know where something is that would make him look weak? What? Kiva looks at you too. I'm gonna look at Stonk. Because Stonk is the only person who knows what I'm thinking of right now. I like and baffled. It, it would take care of our problem. See, this is where like the, the like angry, triumphant music comes in. <laughs> it slowly comes <laughs> It starts swelling. You know what I'm thinking of. Do I tell them? I'll tell them. Okay. You want to find other things that the Jotunheimen wish not to talk about, right? Ah, uh, just kind of nods his head a little bit, and Kiva doesn't nod her head, but she stares at you. There's a Goliath village. Neptunian Mountains. Called Tandrilla. It doesn't really exist anymore. But I'm sure you can find it. There's a quarry close to the town. You'll find the answers you seek there. She looks over to the ball, like the crystal ball. And she walks over to it. You're about to send LMAs on a journey to the mountains, and it'll take them 20 years. Mm-hmm. Get some out of our hair. That's not what I was thinking. Of. She <laughs> walks over to the, um... She oh, walks over to the, the to, uh, the orb. And places her hand on it, and within the orb, this cloud of, um, 
wind kind of begins to circle a little bit. Goliath, what is your name? Stormfather. Come over here. I'll go over there. She puts your hand on the orb. I need you to do me a favor. No matter how much pain it brings you, I want you to remind yourself of this place you call Tanjula. Oh, that's not ominous. <clears throat> She's gonna suck the memory right out. Yeah. 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 Yo. Dumbledore doing some crazy shit. <laughs> <laughs> she puts her um, hand on the uh, orb and uh, she begins to cast drum roll scrying. scrying yay and now because she has she has heard of second hand the target and is getting help from you mm-hmm. she probably gets a lot more close oh fuck that's roll? nice I rolled 19 nice 19 oh this this really truncates a whole, like, 20-year journey. Yeah, yeah. yeah. God damn it! I was expecting to get my over hair for a little longer. Uh, <laughs> you, as, as the... Stonk was bullshitting. There's nothing there. Uh, as you press your hand on the orb, it begins to swirl a little bit, and your brow kind of begins to furrow as you swear you feel the little finger kind of prying through your brain. It's warm and it's way through. It's warm and it's way through your brain. It's moist. It feels invasive and uncomfortable. Um, but psychic damage. Well, Kita has her two main <laughs> eyes closed. Goodness. The eye in the center of her head stays open, and from Solne, your passive perception, you notice that in front of their eyes, they see a mountain range, like it's reflecting off of their eyes, and. She'll probably hold that for how long can this go for? Up to ten minutes. So yeah, she'll probably spend the whole ten minutes doing that. So you're uncomfortable, Stonk, for ten minutes. And she's just looking at the area around Pandula? Yeah, she doesn't you don't see what she's doing, but you can feel what she wants details about. Like she'll start looking at the town and you'll you'll start thinking about the town a little bit. Mm. And okay. then you'll start thinking about the quarry. And then it goes deeper. And it goes deeper. Ten minutes of uncomfortable silence. Uh-huh. I'd like to stare at the reflection in her eye for the entire time. There's sometimes it uh, goes between mountain ranges and um, kind of a dark, dark caves. Occasionally you see like what might be the glimmer of torchlight in one of her eyes as well. But after ten minutes, you're you're freed, and you feel your body, like, no longer tense as, as it relaxes. And um, she pulls away and says, Very well. What else do you know about it? <laughs> I think I'll say that. Um, I'm sorry, that fell out of my face. Uh, God. I don't know if you know. What else do I know about it? It talks quite a bit, so it's not an egg. Probably. Lego my ego? You, you said your name, right? Stonecaller. Just a Stone caller. This isn't the first time this has happened. What do you mean? There's another one. What? Another one. Where? Where? She kind of sighs and looks a little, like, anxiously to the side and says 
as we can see. And she, she kind of is only speaking to you at this point. And she gestures to El Mace, who's kind of sitting on the ground like a frail, scared old man. She says, The Yotan aren't immortal. From what I know, Thor is responsible. Likely. And nothing's known. Nothing is known about one of them. The other one's remains lie buried with their history. One of them. You were lucky enough to uncover it. The second one, there's not much left to uncover. I'm going to... Lower my voice such that... If I that speak low enough, they can't hear me. Yeah, or if I speak really low, they can't hear me. Not even a 25 uh, passive perception with Who the can read to read lips. lips. <laughs> <laughs> Not even that'll work. Um, which I don't think you... I know you can read lips. I just know you're very perceptive. Yeah. That's mm-hmm. all. Um, I think the only person who knows I can read lips is Rinker. Who can also read who lips. Can also read we, we, lips. Have, we have the shittiest form of telepathy. <laughs> <laughs> it's very one-sided. You, you guys are like 20 feet apart. I'm willing to bet there have been a more. couple of watches where it's just a <laughs> fuck you match going back and forth just for fun. <laughs> Um, I'll lower my voice as if that would actually help. Uh, I have 12 perception. It might help against me. Yeah, uh, it'll help against you. Could, the one person with zero context for any of this shit. conversations are just all speaking with lips and nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> um, sorry. sorry. You could... <laughs> I can still hear his voice. She made a kind of late what? When it's erratic, I've tuned it out mostly, but when I saw Thor, it got much louder. If what you're saying is true, it makes sense. It, the voice seemed furious. She gets really quiet. What you're telling me is she's not dead. She can whispering. I, can I roll an? We're all in this that. room. Yeah. Do you want to give me a chance? Sure. Okay, because I assume you're also reading the lips. Yeah. We're both nosy. I can only insight her because I can't hear her. Why are you inciting her? That's a... What, what? Seven, she's saying um, something about someone being dead? She she Ooh. was whispering before. That okay. was like a mega whisper, so... One, okay, six. then I retract my insight. You you see she's not dead, and you're like, what with the... Well, because I've been... I'm paying attention to their conversation. Yeah. Keep in mind, you, you would have to stand in a specific spot to notice both of their lips. Yeah. So you you got to pick one person to listen to. You take Sanka, I take her. So both of you have half context. Yeah, but if two people in this party are willing to conspire, conspire for something... No, they're talking in giant. <laughs> well, <laughs> fuck hey, you. I hey, comes. fuck you. I you comprehend comprehend languages. Languages. Yeah, you're fine. You're fine. <laughs> I think your comprehend languages was still up. Yeah, So you probably. don't even have to. Yeah, and I have You tongues. would just have to cast that now. Yeah, that's fine. So be Comprehend languages? Uh, tongues. Tongues. When did you get tongues? Uh, it's a third level spell. Lyrics? Yeah. Unless, yeah, they have tongues, they just don't have comprehend languages, so you can't yeah, read. Yeah, I can't. Read. Um, you can communicate. I think. Check for one of you has one, one of you has the other, but not the other way around. 
I have uh, both comprehend languages and tongues. Yeah. Any spoken language it hears. But I can read lips, so how does that? You can't hear it. Okay. You're not re- you're, you're reading lips and hearing is different. Okay. Alright. Well, if that's the case, just but fuck I think you. Rickard is fine. Wait, yeah. can we cast tongues multiple times? Or uh, comprehend languages? Uh, I can. It's concentration. It's not concentration. Oh, is it? So. But the issue is, it's also for languages that you hear. Yeah, you're screwed. Oh. I uh, could do it, but my perception's shitty, so I don't hear him. So. That actually makes sense why that spell yeah. wouldn't work with this, because... So be it. Um, me? Instead, I'll do something very different if you want to cast that on me. Detect thoughts. Uh, no, I don't have to detect thoughts, but I'll cast pass without a trace and stealth. <laughs> You're gonna be that much of us. Yes. All right. Yes. You Meanwhile, could just wait. Maybe I'll tell you. Meanwhile, El- no. Elric's yeah, just yeah, derping I'll, I'll in the it. background. I think this is worth it. Uh, All right. Have advantage on yourself if you're gonna stealth closer as well. I don't know if you're gonna stealth closer or not, but um, so that's a five. What's LMAs doing during all this? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, is he uh, listening in on this whisper fest? 19. Yeah, he's kind of thinking to himself. So, wait, is, do I have any pluses to this? Um, so, you have a plus 10 from pass without a trace. Okay. And you have an advantage on the stealth check as well because I gave you the little earmuffs. Yes, we you are gave both. gave me the earmuffs. Can you do it again? I can, I, as oh. soon as I give it to someone else, old person loses it. That is. 26 plus dex. Yeah, 29. Nice. So. You two disappear from existence, <laughs> I guess. And now I'm out of spell slots. <laughs> it's okay. Such is the warlock life. <laughs> yep. Anyways, going back to this now. Okay. Now that they have successfully now that snuck you, up. Now no. that we've eavesdropped properly. Now they're both T-posing behind them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, um, you, she says, so, she's still alive? She's still alive, yeah. Um, I didn't know it was she. Hmm. I also don't know if it really counts as being alive. I'll count it. So... idea what it means. What it means? What do you mean what it means? Why would Thor kill them? Why would Thor kill the elves? Why would Thor declare war on the dragons? So it's always Thor. Normally. He's normally the one who calls the shots. Uh, maybe Tevesta having that poison at, like, session 13 wouldn't have been a bad idea. Where do Ingvald and Tevesta fit into this? If they're considered the big three, I imagine they all have a role. Oh, they all have a role. Let's just say Ingvald and Tevesta. Can you turn the light down? Hmm? And she kind of, like, in order to avoid getting, like, smote out of existence, kind of thinks to herself and says, Are... She just eventually, like, thinks to, to herself and goes, Fuck it. There is dogs. Yeah. Well, that is interesting. Stonks caught off guard by this. Uh, though you guys probably can't see because you're hiding behind our shadows. One of us has to be able to see you in order to, read you, uh, to be able to hear you properly. I mean, if you're hearing me, you can just hear me oh. wherever. <laughs> it's just that's, that you yeah. couldn't read lips unless you had a good angle. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Well, that's what that's what copyright languages are for and why we did stealth. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> so you hear this because we're nosy assholes. <laughs> Real nosy assholes. Oh. Team T. 
<laughs> we respect your boundaries, except for when they're an inconvenience. <laughs> we were, I, we were, I was, I'm just anxiously <laughs> reading the Gnomish book, because what else the fuck am yeah. I doing? You're, you're just hanging out with Odd. Yeah. I refuse to call him the god name. All right. I refuse to call Ellen. Um, I've got a quick request here. If we could take a little bit of a break, my head is killing me, and yeah. I don't. And I do actually want to do more with this session. Yeah. But um, so I'm just gonna call for like 15, 30 minute break. Sounds good. That's fine. Right. Good. Okay, and we are back. Um, not feeling the best right now, so we're just gonna wrap up the session. Uh, session here. But um, so we ended off with uh. Stunk and Kida whispering on the sides. Mm-hmm. Um, is there anything else you all would like to do? If anything. Um, I assume I'll have more questions, but I'll yeah. probably save them for next session. Okay. Um, anyone else want to do anything real quick? I'm just up in the corner being sad. You, why are you sad? have stealth. Oh, I'm so sorry for you. Anyways, how about these two stealth bastards? I'm, j- I'm just I'm just sipping the tea that mm-hmm. I'm siphoning from your lips. Nice. <laughs> I'm getting the tea now, and then you're also going to spill the tea later. So yeah. wait for the spilling of the tea later to actually talk more about it. Okay. Right. Yo, TMT, what up? Sounds like we'll, uh, Continue this conversation next session. Yeah, yeah, I'm not, I'm not feeling it right now. My, my head really fucking hurts. It's all good. So we're gonna wrap up here. Um, any final thoughts? Kelly, you've gone through it listening to this. What's your hot take? Tell us. When you yeah. Hear it. Yes, Kelly, we were very curious about your opinion and no one else's. Now, now we're all fucked. Really, we got. We have person with god part in head. Mm-hmm. We have person following geriatric god. Mm-hmm. We have friends with demon and descendant from demon before they became demon. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We're all fucked. Yeah. yeah. Aren't we cool. a great We're party? We're just the best of friends because yeah. of that. We are all S-tier blasphemers. Mm-hmm. Yep. Well... I think that's a good enough place to end. All right. Uh, yeah. Who wants to say the final words? Tyler should say it. Come quiet. Thank you.